Girl Libra, it's L here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. Libra, it is that time of the year to give back. We started our annual uh, Give to the Less Fortunate drive. You can give via Amazon, Amazon wish list, or you can make a contribution via GoFundMe. If you've never contributed to the channel, this is the day, this is the time. It's not me giving back, but it's us, okay? So let that energy reciprocate. Let that good energy reciprocate. All links are below if you want to participate in that. I hope that you will. All right, so let's get into it. So we got the Two of Pentacles, right? And we've got the Seven of Cups. And then we got the Seven of Pentacles. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so immediately what I'm getting, Libra, is like you're... Okay, so you're waiting for change. You're waiting for change. You've just come to a place of... I don't know what's going to happen. It is what it is. I planted my seeds. I've done what I've done. I'm waiting for change, especially in some relationship. Maybe even in a marriage. Um, something is up in the air in terms of should you stay, should you go. You haven't really decided on it. You're kind of indecisive. That's the trade of labor, but that's okay. You'll get to it, right? The Seven of Cups is like you trying to wonder if you, wondering if you should listen to maybe a Scorpio's promises to do better. You know, this is like building castles in the sky that they're going to do better. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. A lot of wishful thinking, not enough action taken. Maybe even overindulging. You may even look to a vice or some, an outlet, escapism, so that you don't have to deal with, you know, the reality of the situation is that you don't have a lot of faith in this moving forward. You may have been here before with, um, yeah, you may have been here before with this person. You've been here before. We've, we've done this dance before. The unfortunate part is that whomever you is at fault, whether it's you, Libra, or the other person, or as it, you know, it's a bit of both, it's mutual. Somebody is failing to see that they're the issue, or they're failing to see that they need to correct their issues due to like self centeredness, a uh, big ego. It's just unfortunate because they're pushing you to a place of, I got to go. I got to leave. It could be a feminine energy or it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be, you know, feminine energy or a feminine sign. A Scorpio is a feminine sign. It's like someone can't see that you're the issue. Change that thing and I'm here forever. You don't change it. I'm gone tomorrow. No. Um, it's just like somebody, it's too much that has happened, has transpired. You also watching to see if someone has changed, if they really have changed for the better, for the good. They're not going to go back on their promises. Let's see what's going on here for a Libra. It's a lot of, this could even be somebody has vices or overindulges, drugs, sex, alcohol, I don't know. And it's like, I hope this person changed. I hope they don't come back with that same stuff because I'm going to have to let them go. Um, there could have been a period of separation between the two of you. You just accepted it. It was like, okay, good. You might even be thinking about, like, maybe we just need to separate. It's not over, but maybe you need to go your way. I go mine so that there could be maturity. That happens. All right, what's happening? Yeah, high honor. So you could have a really good reputation or the relationship. What people see... From the outside, because this also could be a farce with the Seven of Cups. Like, maybe you're trying to keep up, you know, this, um, these shenanigans, this shindig. I don't know. You're trying to keep keep up in terms of what people see. What people see, uh, visual, the visual looks good. You know, people hold your relationship, your marriage, uh, your business, whatever it is, or they hold you in high regard. But somebody's seeing that you're either drunk, alcoholic, or um, a pill popper. Oh, Lord, there's some you or somebody else or somebody is just they don't have it all together. They're losing control or that they've lost control. What is going on here? You may be trying to keep up with. Yeah, courtship can't make it up. So this relationship, you know, maybe you're dating somebody and now they're seeing, you know, all of your little um, 
everything that you want to have hidden okay that could be for one, some of you and then you're already in some type of relationship courtship marriage and it's like you want to maintain this how it looks to everybody else that it looks good it's prestigious you know we have prestige and we have this and we're doing just fine it's like you I don't know you want to sell this seven of cups sell this narrative then maybe your husband is not a cheater or um, a wife is not a cheater or I don't know it's like you're trying to sell this there's also somebody like kind of delving into you know indulging because they don't want to deal with their emotions or this is how they deal with their emotions so I could be overeating yeah mature man so there's an older man maybe a younger woman or somebody who has more than more money more prestige more name bigger name whatever um he feels like it's his world is my way or the highway there's no no compromise here and again back to somebody not seeing that they're the issue somebody is rigid okay and they want it just like this the status quo how it used to be and they can't deal with the fact that something is changing or that has been changed Somebody may be looking at you with the side eye or you're looking at them with the side eye like, should I let them go? Should I stay? I don't know. Somebody's mask started to slip off. Okay. The real, will the real Libra real, please stand up? I don't know. Maybe you said this to somebody or they said it to you. Like somebody's seeing the real you or you're seeing the real somebody. Well, somebody could be wondering, you know, like they could be like, okay, contemplating a fast change. Like leaving. Where somebody's somebody changed kind of like overnight, and somebody's wondering like, um, yeah, somebody went maybe got famous overnight, got rich overnight. Um, you're wondering somebody moved out overnight, or just like did something real quick. Could be a woman, could be a single woman, it could be a, a child, it could be anybody, it could be somebody that you're because you're not really. The relationship is fragmented. Hey, because it needs some conversation that needs to be had. You're wondering about somebody's money. You're wondering about how they do it. You're wondering about how are they uh, a business owner, independent? Who's financing them? Somebody changed overnight. You're wondering. Yeah, message of concern. You're wondering, oh, you may be even wondering when they're going to come back and ask you for something. Well, yeah, ask you for something. Poverty. This could even be somebody praying on somebody's downfall. This could be like, used to be a stay-at-home wife. The husband was okay with that. Now you're something else or you become something or you made a name for yourself. And now the husband's like, I don't know about this. I hope it all falls apart secretly so I can have my little wife back. Uh, my kid moved away. Got, you know, it was all independent. I hope that they have to come back home for whatever reason. Somebody got sober or somebody's trying to stay sober. And someone's like, I hope they stay sober. But if they don't, that's okay because I'll take care of them. Or I liked it them better when they weren't sober. This is kind of sinister. What's the advice here for Libra? Yeah, five of cups could be dealing with Scorpio. Yeah, somebody misses something. I miss when. What do they miss? They miss when it was like turbulence, drama, when you were chaotic. Five of pencils. I knew another five was coming out. I knew you had five. That mature man. Somebody doesn't like that you mature, you leveled up, or you bossed up, or that you're just getting in control of your life. They don't like this tectonic change, this big breakthrough that you had. Somebody wants you in a state of, you know, questioning yourself, questioning your money, questioning your employment, self-employment. Someone doesn't like that you bossed up or vice versa. You don't like that somebody's bossed up. Someone's missing the fact they're missing when you needed them. When you were in a place of need, lack. Um, they want they need something to take care of. This is a codependent energy. This could be a feminine energy. Yeah, we talked about feminine energy earlier. This is somebody who is chaotic, maybe even Luciferian. So that means it's talking about um, like a duality. They're nice, then they could be nasty. 
they're nasty, but then they can be nice. You know, this is somebody, um, they choose, they pick and choose who they want to be, what they want to be. And it only causes for, uh, it only causes chaos, drama. And that's what they thrive in. And that's what they like. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This is somebody low vibrational. Yeah, somebody needs to get find God or God-like quality, Six of Cups. Um, I mean, Six of Pentacles. And somebody likes being in the, like, the power seat. They don't like when the other person is in power, you know, in power in terms of their life, uh, their money, their everything. They want this person low, 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 so you can come back to me. This is um, very sinister. Labor run as far and fast as you can. I don't know if it's you or somebody else, but... Um, Somebody doesn't like that somebody is maturing, you know. Somebody's also sevens coming out, some mastery. Somebody's mastered themselves or they got in control of. This is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Who's trying to stay in control of you? Who's wishing for your downfall so you can come running back? Who is it? Call them out right now down in the comment section. Libra, keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday and Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do a collective reading. And on Thursdays, I answer your questions for free. Um, I'm doing my first ever meet and greet here in the metro Atlanta area. If you want to meet me, fellowship, uh, talk it up, maybe even get a mini read, come on out. But what you have to do to get the details of where I will be and when is subscribe to my website, tarotofl.com. That first pop up when you get there, go ahead and type in your email address so you can get the details of where I will be in the metro Atlanta area. I might even be coming to your state, your town, your country soon. So go ahead and subscribe to my website. Um, this is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates again, let me know how. Take care.